Hello guys, welcome to CloudTech. So in this video, we are going to discuss three important programs that were asked in a lot of MNCs. So these programs are from coding interview. So the programs are to rotate an array, uh, finding common elements and finding missing number. So let's move to our first program, rotating an array. Let's try to look at what we need to achieve in this program. We will be given an input array. So one, two, three, four, five is my input array and we will be given a position. So position is two for us. Now, our goal is to move each element of an input array by two positions. So if you look at the input array, uh, we have one as the first element and it is moved by two position in my output array. Similarly, uh, my second element is moved by two position. So one and two. So it becomes a fourth element in my output. Now, let's try to see how to achieve this in the program. So it is going to be very interesting. Uh, let me copy my input array because I know it is going to be my same array. Now I'm going to declare a variable integer positions equal to two. I want to move this array by two position. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create an array, which is my, uh, which is going to be my output array. So integer rotated ARR, this is going to be my rotated array. And what is going to be length of this array? The length of this array is going to be same as your input array. So let me create a new integer array and the length will be arr dot length so i'm going to do arr dot length so i created my rotated array but it is empty for now now it is giving me an error uh, so why is this error because on the left hand side i declared integer and on the right hand side i created an array so let's create an array now my goal is to move each element by the number of position so what i'll do i'll uh, try to iterate over my original array so integer i equal to zero i is less than arr dot uh, length and i plus plus a classic for loop nothing special in this now how to fill the rotated array the first thing that i want to do is finding the new position of the element how to find new position integer new position equal to new position is equal to current position which is i plus by how many elements we have to move this by number of positions so what i'm going to do positions uh, then i'm going to do modular arr dot length so i'll explain you why we need this we need this because we need to fit all the elements between zero to length so if we go outside length then we get array index out of bound exception so we want to avoid this that is the reason we are doing modulus operation now let's we got the new position what next oh so rotated array of new position so this is my index new position equal to my current element how to find the current element current element is arr of i so this way i am going to fill the rotated array now once i fill the rotated array the next thing i'm going to do is uh, my output is in this format rotated array and then the elements of the array so let me do that for that i'm going to this out rotated array and then i'm going to print each element of uh, the array so this is going to be simple integer number of uh, i'm going to use an answer for loop here because i used uh, the regular one earlier so sys out what we are going to print sys out we are going to print the number uh, which is uh, the element and at the end we are going to print space because uh, we want to, I'm going to avoid print LN. I'm going to just use print because I want to print on the same uh, line. So let me run this program and see if I'm able to achieve the required output. So rotated array is four, five, one, two, three. So four, five, one, two, three. We achieved the uh, problem statement. We found the output. What we did, we, we are given an array and we are given a position and we move each element by that many position. One thing to look at, what happens to the last element? So the four is moved by two positions. So it comes here and then it becomes a first element. Five is moved by two positions. So it comes here and then it comes to the second. Uh, it becomes a second element. Now we solved our first problem, which is rotate an array. Let's move to the next problem. So here we have to find uh, the common elements between two array. So we will be given two arrays. Let me copy the array in my main. Okay, so these are the two arrays. The first one is ARR1 with some elements, ARR2 with other set of elements. So what we see, we need to find common elements. So what is common? Common element is two is common, uh, then five is common. So two and five are the 
common elements. Uh, let's try to solve this problem. How to find the common elements? So oh, I'm going to take help of has set. Has set is a data structure which uh, only holds the distinct element. So I'm going to use has set. Uh, let's try to create has set of what? Has set of uh, integer. And I'm going to name this as set equal to new again has set of uh, integer. So what I did, I created a data structure which is has set. Now let's try to iterate over the array for integer num and I'm going to iterate over my array one. So let's try to iterate over this. This is my enhanced for loop. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do one simple thing. I'm going to add all the elements to my set. So set that add and what is the element? Element is num. So here I'm just filling my set with the given array ARR one. Now what is next thing? <clears throat> next thing is identifying the common element. So let me try to sys out common elements, common elements. All right, so common elements. How to find uh, the common element? I'm going to iterate over ARR2 and then try to see if it is there in my set. If it is there in my set, I can identify it is a common element. So let me do that for integer num. ARR2, I'm going to iterate over ARR2. Okay, now has it is filled with all the elements of my array one. Now let's try to see if uh, the element of array two is present in the set. How to do that? To do that, we are going to use something called as contains. Uh, set dot contains. Set dot contains num. If the set already has the element from array two, that means it is a duplicate element. We have found it. Now, what to do? If you find the duplicate element, then sys out. Duplicate element. What is the duplicate element? Duplicate element is the current element. So let me do that. So num plus and then the space. All right. So what we did, we declared a set. We added all the elements of my array one into the set. And then while iterating over array two, we just we are just trying to find if uh, the current element is in set. If it is there, then it is a duplicate element. So let's try to see uh, what is the output when I run this program. So the output is two and five. Two and five are the common elements. Uh, let's see. Yes, two is common. Five is common. All right. Let me do one more thing. I'll try to add seven as well just to see if it is common or not. Uh, I'll run the program. So two, five, and seven are the common elements. So this was my second prog program. Let's move to the third and the final program, which is missing number. All right, so what we have to do here, uh, we have to find the missing number. We will be given number from one to N. So here you can see we are given number from one to eight. So uh, one to N, N is what? N is eight. And what I have to find? I have to find the missing number from that range. So if you see one, two, three, four, five is missing, six, seven, and eight. So my duty is to find uh, the number five. Well, let's try to do this. Let's try to find the missing number. So I'm going to copy the input. Copying input is my always the first step. Now what I will do, I'll find the range. What is the range? Range is eight. So I can do uh, n equal to eight. Uh, is there any better way to find uh, the range? Yeah, there is a better way. You can do arr dot length and then you can add one. So length is seven for me. And if I add one, it becomes n. Now, what next? Next is what I'm going to find. I'm going to perform this operation by using set, uh, by using sum. So let's try to find the expected sum. Oh, there's a formula for finding a sum of first n number. So what is that formula? Expected sum equal to, uh, there's a formula n into n plus one by two. So if I do n, so let's try to do or perform that formula. n is equal to n plus one by two. So let me do this by two. Okay, so this will give me uh, the sum of first n number. So it will give me sum of one plus two plus three plus four plus five till eight. Now I got the expected sum. Now I'm going to take sum of the current array. So what is the sum of current array? I'm going to declare one more variable known as actual sum. 
actual sum is going to be my zero. Now I'm going to iterate over my uh, input array. So for that, as you know, we use enhanced for loop. So integer num is what just iterating over the array. So while iterating, I'm going to do actual sum is equal to plus is equal to num. So I'm just trying to take num and trying to add that value to my actual sum. So no, finally, actual sum will have all the uh, sum of all the elements in my input array. So let's try to find the missing number. Finding missing number is very simple. Int missing number equal to my expected sum, which uh, which was sum of first n elements. So uh, ex expected. I just uh, spelled it wrong expected sum okay so expected sum minus my actual sum so this will give me the missing element so let's try to print it so to print we use sys out everyone knows that what i'm going to print uh, missing number and missing number is going to be my missing number variable missing number all right so i think we have uh, cracked this let's try to run this program yeah missing number is five uh, let me add five and uh, let me remove three. When I do this, the missing number should change. Run as, uh, so missing number is three. Oh, so I think uh, you like, if you like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.